Good morning, children. Okay, so today we're going to talk about STIs. And yes, we are going to be talking about things of a sexual nature. You know, not birds and bees type stuff, but diseases that we get um, through sexual contact or through unprotected, mainly through unprotected sexual contact. Um, we're not going to have giggles and um, little ha-has and pee-pees when we do this. We're going to act like the mature students you are. If you have questions, I will endeavor my best to answer them. Let's make the questions be as serious as possible. But lesson in chapter, yeah, we are in chapter, it's, it's been a long year. This is lesson 7.3. We've talked about communicable diseases. And you guys have to understand that um, STIs are all communicable diseases. So, you probably know that HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, sickens and kills many people. Make a list of the way you think HIV is spread. We're just going to talk about that. We're going to learn about what sexually transmitted infections are, how HIV and other STIs are spread, what you can do to protect yourself from sexually transmitted infections, why it's important to seek help in dealing with STIs, Vocabulary we're going to learn is sexually transmitted infections, HIV, and AIDS. Sexually transmitted infections, STIs, are communicable diseases that are passed from one person to another through sexual contact. Anyone who is sexually active runs the risk of being infected with one of these diseases. STIs are different from other communicable diseases in several ways. STIs can damage the reproduction, reproductive system that cause sterility. Sterility means you're sterile. When you're sterile, that means you cannot have offspring. Your sperm or your eggs become sterile. Most STIs are spread through sexual contact. There are no vaccines for STIs. Someone who has an STI may have no visible symptoms or have symptoms that come and go, but still be contagious. Having an STI once doesn't make you immune. Many STIs cause death if left untreated. To get rid of an STI, a person must see a doctor if you can get rid of them. Some other communicable diseases such as hepatitis can spread through sexual contact. These, they are not called STIs because they can be transmitted in other ways. Figure 7.7 7 on 192 lists the symptoms of five common STIs, which we're going to look at right now. People under the age of 24 are most likely to get STIs. Which of these five common STIs cannot be cured? Chlamydia, it's a bacteria. Pain or burning feeling during urination, unusual discharge from penis or vagina often has no symptoms, especially in females, but can still be spread, cured with antibiotics. Gonorrhea is a bacteria, pain or burning feeling during urination, usually discharged from penis or vagina. Abdominal pain, sometimes there, sometimes has no symptoms, especially in females, but can still be spread, cured with antibiotics. Genital herpes, herpes simplex virus, itching or pain followed by painful itching sores in genital area. Symptoms come and go, but virus is still present and able to spread. Antiviral medications relieve symptoms when sores appear, no cure. Once you've got herpes, it, it will come and go. It can flare up all throughout your life. Syphilis, bacteria. Red, wet, painless sores, a place where virus enters body, followed by rash and flu-like symptoms. 
can lead to brain damage and other serious health problems, especially in infants, cured with antibiotics. People like Frederick Nietzsche, Al Capone, um, I, I think Freud, Sigmund Freud, um, these are famous cases of people who got syphilis and it basically ate at their brain and caused brain damage until they basically went crazy and died from the bacteria. Genital warts, human papillomavirus, small pink and red bumps in genital area can increase risk of certain cancers in women. Warts can become warts can be removed by a doctor but may return because virus is remains present in body, which there is a vaccine for the HPV virus now. HIV and AIDS. HIV or human immunodeficiency virus is the virus that causes AIDS. HIV attacks a person's immune system, decreasing its ability to fight infection. Figure 7.8 shows how HIV attacks the immune system. People cannot be infected with HIV for 10 years or long. Sorry, people can be infected for HIV for 10 years or longer before any symptoms appear. However, eventually they will develop AIDS or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. AIDS is an HIV infected com combined with severe immune system problems. When AIDS weakens the immune system, other infections set in. Symptoms can include fatigue, frequent long lasting fevers, sweaty heavy, sweating heavily at nights, and chronic cough. Drugs can delay the onset of AIDS and help fight the symptoms, but there is no cure. People with AIDS eventually di die from diseases that a healthy immune system can easily have resisted. We historically, my I'm 43, so your parents are a little older than me or a little younger than me. So we were all around in the late 80s, early 90s AIDS epidemic. We especially remember when Magic Johnson was diagnosed with HIV in 1990. He was a basketball player for the Los Angeles Lakers. This was a huge deal. You know, when Magic got was... Um, diagnosed with the HIV virus, which he got from having too much unprotected sexual contact. People thought this is a death sentence. He's going to be dead in a year or two. He retired from the NBA because people are worried about playing basketball with him and his sweat, his blood getting on people and would they contract AIDS. Um, other people that famously have died from AIDS, and Magic Johnson hasn't. Freddie Mercury, the late singer of, Queens, of Queen, died from complications from AIDS. So did a um, tennis player, Arthur Ashe, died from complications of AIDS. So did a boxer, Tommy Morrison. There have been others. How HIV spreads. HIV is carried in the body fluids of people infected with the disease. Significant amounts of the virus, enough to transmit HIV to other people, may be found in semen, vaginal fluid, blood, breast milk. When these infected fluids enter a person's, another person's body, HIV infection may occur. HIV spreads mostly through sexual contact and sharing needles. I'll go into sharing needles in just a minute. A woman with, with HIV can also pass the virus to her baby during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. Before 1985, HIV was sometimes spread when people infected with HIV donated blood. Today, all donated blood in the United States is tested for HIV and infected blood is discard, discarded. It is safe to donate and receive blood in this country. Obviously, I don't know everything about other countries. Obviously, if we got blood from other countries to donate to people, we would test it to make sure it didn't have HIV. Um, myself, I have received a blood transfusion from being born three months premature. So anyone that's ever received a blood transfusion can never donate blood. Figure 7.8. 
how HIV attacks the immune system. HIV keeps the immune system from doing its job. A person with AIDS will have trouble resisting certain infections. One, HIV enters the bloodstream. Two, the virus attacks and damages T cell lymphot lymphocytes. These cells are important parts of the immune system. Yes, we know from Resident Evil video games, the T cell virus in that we do actually have T cells in our body. You know how I know you guys watch those movies and how the T cell virus attacked the T cell and that's how people became zombies. But that won't happen. Three, as the virus multiplies, more and more lymphocytes are destroyed and the immune system gets weaker and weaker. Four, death occurs when the immune system is too weak to fight off infections and a healthy immune system could have easily, could easily resist. So, again, most people die from complications from AIDS, not from, um, specifically from AIDS, complications. Again, they'll get colds, they'll get flus. A lot of people will get pneumonia. That's how Freddie Mercury, that's how Arthur Ashe, that's how Tommy Morrison, that's how those people died is because the AIDS virus weakened their immune system so much that when they got colds, when they got flu, when they got pneumonia, they died from them. Yes, if someone who has HIV, who has AIDS, if they get COVID, they would be more likely to succumb from COVID because AIDS has weakened their immune system. The AIDS quilt, connect with social studies. The AIDS memorial quilt contains more than 44,000 panels contributed by people all over the world. Each panel is a tribute to one or more people who have died from AIDS. The money people pay to view the quilt goes to help people living with the disease. So far, the quilt has raised over $3 million. It's important to realize that HIV spreads only through contact with infected body fluids. You cannot get HIV from the air, sweat and tears, mosquito bites, donating blood, touching. Please, please pardon the interruption. Now, this is 6, 7, and 8. Sorry. 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 I'll get back to it. Let me pause again. All right, it's been a morning, kids. I think this is where I left off. Um, again, you can get HIV. You cannot get it from the air, sweat, tears, mosquito bites, donating blood, touching, such as shaking hands or hugging, contact with objects such as eating utensils, toilet seats. Detecting HIV. Many people infected with HIV show no symptoms for a long time. They can still pass on the virus. However, laboratories perform tests to find out if a person is infected with HIV. These tests show the presence of antibodies to the virus. If the blood test is negative, it should repeat it in six months. A person recently infected with the virus may not have had time to develop antibodies. Blood samples are carefully tested to determine if they are infected with HIV. Preventing STD, STIs and HIV, sorry. When I was growing up, we called these STDs, not STIs. STIs can cause serious health problems and even death. To avoid these risks, you must avoid contact with other people's bodily fluids, including blood, semen, vaginal fluid. Specifically, you should Having sex, you should avoid having sexual contact. Abstinence from sexual activity is the only way to prevent STIs. Go out with groups of friends to avoid being pressured to be sexually active. Sharing needles or other objects that break the skin. Sharing a needle with an HIV infected person exposes you to HIV infected blood. If you get your ears pierced, have it done professionally by someone who uses sterilized equipment. Using drugs or alcohol. People are more likely to engage in risky behaviors with the influence of alcohol or drugs. So let's go back to the needles real quick. 
because I think this is the third time I've recorded this and I've talked about this a couple times. But you have to understand that you can get it just not by using needles with someone who has HIV. It's, it's possible to get that in that when people who use drugs that you inject into your body, heroin, meth, um, you know, someone shoots that drug into their veins, then someone else wants that drug and they cook it the way they cook it and they put it into that syringe. Well, they're not using a new syringe. They take that same syringe that was someone else's body and they inject it into there. Well, what they're doing is they're getting that person's blood into their system. And so you can keep doing that and doing that and doing that, and you can develop HIV because you're using dirty needles that are getting on to, that you're getting this person's blood and this person's blood and this person's blood. If you are the seventh or eighth person to use this drug and you're using the same syringe, you're talking, you've probably got seven or eight different person's blood in your system injecting into your body that's how people can get hiv by sharing needles getting help many people and especially teens do not seek help when they think they have an sti getting help can be embarrassing so they just wait and hope the disease will go away this is the worst thing a person can do if left untreated stis cause serious damage Teens who suspect they have an STI should talk to a parent or trusted adult. At first, they may feel uncomfortable. However, it, however, it is the first step towards getting the need treatment. It is also a necessary step in preventing permanent damage to the reproductive system. Kids, as always, if you have any questions with any of this, please ask. We will do our darndest to help you. As always, pirates, please raise your hand in class if you have any questions. Remote learners, if we still have remote learners, unmute yourself or message me through Schoolology. Thank you very much, pirates, and have a super sparkly day.